The present video studied the measure of location. The measure of location will be numbers that represent the relative position of a datum in the data set. The most important measure of locations are called the percentiles. And the percentiles will be 99 measures that divide the order data set in 100 parts of equal size. For example, if this line represents the whole data set, this P1, P2, P3 will be the percentiles, will be until P1 until P99. So the value P1 of the percentile P1 will be one that have 1% of the data below it and 99% of the data above it. Now, P2, for example, the, percent, the second percentile will be in such a way that 2% of the data set will be below it and 98% of the data will be above it. Obviously, because P2 could be one of the data. One of the data could be. In, in this case, we say that at most, P, at most 2% will be below it and at most 98% will be above it. So this will be the, defini the definition. PK, I'm going to, to symbolize this in this way, P and a sub in this K in the, in the case that this is the kth percentile. For example, if k equals 7, so this k will be in this way, 7% of the data are below p7. So at most k% percent of the data are below p8, and at most 100 minus k% percent of the data are above p8. See, that's the definition of the kth percentile. So for example, if this k is 24, then the we are speaking about the 24th percentile, and that means that at most 24% of the data are below it, and the other 100 minus 24, 76% of the data are above it. Let's find now how to compute the percentile or whatever percentile. Imagine that we have a data set with n values. We are going to follow several steps. Actually, we're going to follow three steps. The first step will be to arrange the observation in an ordered array from the lowest value to the highest one. So the, uh, the, the data set will it looks like that, will look like this. It will be the smallest value will be the first, the second will be x2, and until the highest value that will be xn. So imagine that this is the order array, and now what we need to do is the, the index that we have put here in, in, the, in, the, in the numbers, in the values, will give you like a position. For example, this is the first position, the second position, etc. Now the second step will be to look which is the position of the percentile that you are looking for. So the second step will be find the position. Imagine that you get the, the, the position is six. That you are in the that you have you, you're looking for a percentile and this percentile is in the position six. That means that this percentile you are looking for is close to the observation number six. So this position or index will be given using a formula. So you use this formula similar to the one that you were using for finding the, the median. So it will be k over 100 multiplied by m. This k is the number of the percentile. For example, if you are, using the, you are looking for the percentile 54, you write here k equals 54. n is the total number of data, and i is the index. So it's the position of the percent in the, in the, in the order of right. I, I prefer to say it is the approximate position of the percentile. And then this, this n is the total number of data. So after you get the index, you will, you will have, will, will, we will have two different situations. One, situ one, possibility, one possibility will be that you get a whole number. Huh? 
So, so for example, uh, you, you divide this divided by 100 and multiply by n, and you get uh, 3. So in this case, if you get a whole number, then what you need to do is get the average between the data in the position i and in the position i plus 1. So if you get it, for example, that i equals 7, so will be the data in the position 7 and the, and the data in the position a, and you get the average between these two data. The other situation that could happen is, is that, that you get a number with decimal. You don't get a whole number. So in this case, you just round up the, 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 the index. You round up the index, and the data in the position that you obtain, is, it will be the percentile. So the data in the position, I, but rounded up. You remember this symbol like a bracket, but, with, but only with with ceiling without floor. Yeah, this bracket. If you have a bracket like this, it means that you need to round up the number. So round up the number, and then you get in the data in that position will be the percentage you are, that you are looking for. Let's see an example. Imagine that we have the following data set. In this data set, and we, we want to compute what is the 35 percentile. Might, that this is the question. Okay, the first thing to do is get order this from the lowest value to the highest value. So you need to find here what is the smallest value. And it looks like the smallest value is 26. So you put here 26 as the smallest value. And then 32, then there's one, etc. If there are repetitions, you need to include all the, of these repetitions. So you order the data from the lowest one to the highest one. And these are the index. This is the, the index of this is one. This is the, the index of this is two, etc. Or the position, this is the first, this is the second, this is the third, etc. And there are how many data in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there are in total 42 data. So we need to take into account this for the second step. Because in the second step is find the position. So we have here the, 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 the ordered data set and now get find the position or find the index. Yeah? Find the position of the percentile 35. So k will be 35. So the, the, the formula is i equal k times n divided by 100. But k is 35 times n, n is equal 42. We already counted all this data. And if we, we, we do that, will be i equal k over 100, 35 over 100 is 0 0.35. I can write 0 0.35 times 42. 0 0.35 times 42, the answer is 14.7. I'm happy we, got, we get a number with decimal, because now the only thing that we need to do is round up 15. And the data in the position 15, this will be the percentile. So the the third step is find the data in the position 15. So let's see, there are 14 here. This is the position 14. This is the position 15. So this data will be the percentile, the percentile 35. So, okay. So the percentile 35 will be the data in the position 14.7 rounded up, so will be the position 15. So the only that you need to do is counting from 1 until 15. When you get the number 15, this data, it will be the percentile 35. Or I better, I prefer to say that this is the an approximation of the percentile 35. So this is the estimation that I'm teaching you. If you use, for example, a, an, a software as a, like Excel, Excel use a, a similar uh, approximation, but no equal. So if, if, if you get in Excel, maybe you get a different number. You can get different numbers because the Excel use a different formula to get the position of the number. For that reason, you are going to get with this with this methodology, you can find a number close to the number that Excel gets, but different, okay? 
So not necessarily the same. This is just a way to estimate the percentile, 35. Let's see another example. Imagine that we have this data set and we want to compute the percentile 90. So how many data we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 28 data. So there are 28 data that the good news is that it's already ordered. Yeah? So we, the first step is order the data set, but I'm giving you this already ordered. So let's go to the second step, find the index or the position of the data. So the position of the data, we use the formula, I equal K over 100 times N, and this K equal 90, so that will be 0 0.90 when you divide by 100. 0 0.90 times 28, that will be I. I equals 0 0.90 times 28. If you use your calculator, you get the answer 25.2. What do you need to do? Round up always, even this number rounded, well, this number is 25, but we are going to round up the number. So the number will be 26. So if you get 26, so it will be I is not a whole number, then you need to round up. You get the data number 26. Then you need to count until data number 26. From here to the last one, until, until, until you get 26, sorry. Obviously, because you know that the last one is 28, this is 27, this is the data number 26. So I know that this will be the answer, yeah? that the number 26 is 48. So that we say that the percentile 90 is 48. Let's see another example. We have this data set, yeah? and we want to compute the percentile 80. So the percentile 80, let's see how many data we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There will be 10, 20, 29 data. Yeah? And they are already ordered. I'm really happy to know that. And this is the first step. They are the first step to order the data set. But I'm giving you this already ordered the data from the lowest one to the highest one. If this is not an ordered array, you need to do it. You need to order this by yourself. Okay, now we have the, the, the data set ordered already. So let's go to the second step, find the index. Yeah? And the index now K okay, will be 80. Yeah? So I equal K over 100 times time N. And N is now 29. There are 29 data. Okay, K will be, this will be equal to uh, 0 0.80 times 29. As you do that, use your calculator, again, 23.2. If you get a, a this number with decimal, you need to round up. If you round up, it will be 24. So it will be the data number 24. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 10, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This data must be the percentile 80. So it will be the data number 24 because we need to round up and then it will be the data number, the data number 24, that is the data 29.4, perfect. Let's see an example when you don't need to round up that you get a whole number. For example, you have this, this data set. How many data we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are 20 data and you need to compute the percentile 60. If you need to compute the percentile 60, then what we have is, is, is the, the data set is already ordered. I already given you this data set order. Is no, you need to order by yourself. Yeah? Okay, let's see what is the data, what is uh, the, the index. So, because k is 60 in this way, so it will be i equal k over 100 times n, so it will be 0 0.60 times 20. But 0 0.60 times 20 is 12, exactly 12. Okay, in this case, you don't need to round up, but you will need to get the average between the data 12 and the data 13, the next data. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is the data 12. The data 12 and the following data, you get the average. Yeah? 
So let's see that. Because i is a whole number, then you need to get the, the percentile 60 will be the average between the data 12 and the data number 13. So they get the average, so add together and divide by 2. So I get 20.1 plus 20.2 divided by 2. This is 20.15. So let's type it 20.15. And that gives you the percentile, the percentile 60. Let's see a last example. Let's compute the percentile number 10 from the following data set. And we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 data. And we need to compute the percentile 10. So the first, because this is an already ordered array. Yeah? We don't need to order. They already order from the lowest one to the highest one. So we have only to do the second and third step. The second step is finding the index or position. So because this is the percentile 10, so k will be 10 in the formula. So i equal k over 100 times n. So it will be 0 0.10 times 20. Yeah? 0 0.10 is this times 20, and this is equal to exactly 2. So in this case, again, we have that it, this is a whole number. And because the position is 2, so because we have a whole number, we need to get the, the data in the position 2 plus the next data. So if we get a, a whole number, then it's the data in this position plus the other and divided by 2. So you get the average between the data number 2 and the next data. 12 plus 13.5 divided by 2. It is, so we will give you then, the, the since i is 2, a whole number, then we are going to get the average. And this will be 12 plus 13.5 over 2. So the second plus the third data divided by 2. And this is 12.75. So equal 12.75. And that will get this, this is the percentile time. So that is the last example. So we conclude, we conclude with this problem, this the explanation of percentiles and measures of locations. Thank you.